What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Like you saw in the thumbnail, our Pixel Fold here and obviously our Pixel 8 Pro just got Android 14 QPR1 Beta 2.2 and we are installing them as you see as we speak. Now, from what we're seeing on the release notes here, this is loaded, and I mean loaded, with bug fixes. And I'll throw up that video, you'll have to pause it here to see what all is new. But courtesy of Droid Life, you can see they listed out all of these fixes that are in this build for a lot of devices, obviously specifically the Pixel Fold and their newer generation Pixels, but that are applicable to all of their devices across their product line. Now, having said that, since this looks so heavy, on fixes. I don't anticipate to see many new features in here. We'll probably see some UI tweaks and all that, but as soon as it finishes updating, we will go ahead, do our traditional hands-on, see the temperature, check the build number out, and see if anything really stands out. Probably going to be a short and sweet video for you guys, like I said, since this is mainly centered around bug fixes, but let's jump into it and take a look. So while the update does finish installing, I do just want to call out a couple things on these two devices. So for the Pixel 8 Pro, you can see it has an update size of 103 megabytes. But on the Pixel Fold here, ironically, it's coming in at only 40.35 megabytes. You would think this would have a or need a larger update size because of the extra features. Not the case here. And again, as we showed you earlier, here is the actual developer website for this release from Android. And again, we're not going to go into it, but Beta 1 was released on October 19th. And this one obviously is released on November 2nd. So quite a few weeks in between these dot releases. But again, we are speeding towards the December release for this QPR 1. Again, like we said, tons of all those fixes here. We're not going to go over all of them. But if you want to read them, again, pause the screen in that video earlier and you'll be able to see them. While this finishes up, though, We'll let this, we'll set it down and come right back. Okay, so Android 14 QPR1 Beta 2.2 is finishing up. As you can see here, while this finishes, let's go ahead and check our normal temperatures. And I can tell you right off the bat, just feeling it, especially having done this more recently with the iPhone 15 series devices, it stays so much cooler. Maybe it's because it takes so much longer to update, but I don't, don't know fully, but as you can see, we have yet to even closely come to 100 degrees plus. I do feel it warming up a little bit. Let's check a couple more sections. No, it's still staying relatively cool to, to the touch. So as usual, always good to see. Um, unsurprisingly, with the smaller update size, the Pixel Fold did finish first. And we now can take a look at the latest build. So jumping into settings. Scrolling down to about phone, let's go all the way down to the bottom and you can see this build carries a build number of U1 B2.230.922.03. And again, you can see it just finishes updating and it is a little glitchy still. So take that for what you want. But again, let's give it a second and check it out. Okay, while we were giving this a second to get reacclimated, this one actually finished. So our Pixel 8 Pro is now gonna finish and install the update as well. But from just scrolling around very quickly and then opening it up in the most basic form, everything does seem to be operating as you would expect. Again, jumping around in the settings also, really quickly, we didn't see anything that really stood out in terms of what's new or anything. Same wallpapers, same clocks, Nothing crazy in this regard. Um, there were a couple of rumors of some new lock screens or something being added. I haven't seen that yet. It could have also been incorrect. So just keep that in mind. But again, hopping around as you would expect, everything does work pretty well. You can see we have a slight delay here when switching between the actual settings. But nothing substantial or nothing to be concerned with necessarily yet. You can look through everything you want. Let's go to NFL.com. Still have that issue where it doesn't transition right over to the lock screen if you close it. That was kind of taken away. You have to unlock it and it will come back. Very weird, but again, something unique to just the Pixel Fold um, since it is their only foldable device. Hopefully that'll change and they will bring that option back in the settings that was removed. But yeah, aside from that, jumping in the camera, as you would expect, everything does work pretty good. There's a slight delay and look, it actually locked up. Um, but 
We'll see. Again, this is a beta build for a reason. You can see we're having a few issues here with it substantially being delayed uh, when going through certain options. Let's just take another photo. Let's see. So, seems to be working a little better now. Very interesting. Taking a little bit to process still. We'll delete these. Yeah. So nothing, nothing crazy, but kind of surprising it's that laggy. Very interesting. Since the beta here just finished on our Pixel 8 Pro, let's take a look and see if we're going to experience the same thing here. Hopefully not. I'm not going to go ahead and do a heat test on this, especially since our case is still on it. But let's let this finish really quick and jump around and see what we can find. So you can see right off the bat, it's taking a little bit to just pull up the Chrome interface. Let's just jump into not a Tesla app and click on this link. So this is seemingly working pretty well. Okay, now let's try that camera out. It's a little laggy there too. Let's take a photo. Just trying to show you macro mode for some reason. Little delay. And it's still processing. So slight delay here as well. Very, very interesting to see. In the comments down below, guys, let us know if you install this beta, are you having any lagging issues? This could be simply, again, the system rebooting and getting acclimated to the phone. And it might go away here shortly, but I wanted to give you the first initial impressions uh, to let you know it's out and what to expect. So this could very easily be rectified here in an hour or so. I'll do a follow-up video if we find any other new features and all that, but I wanted to let you know this is out. Go download it if you're interested, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.